Welcome to another video, to another L&L Book Club video of the Chamber of Secrets, and it will be the final chapter video because today we're going to be going over, I'm reviewing chapters 15, 16, 17, and 18. Um, and I'm prepared. I've been wearing these earrings for some time, but now's the time because chapter 15 is Aragog. So let's go. Let's get on this spidery business. Um, I, I mean, we'll preface. Not a lot is different in these coming chapters. There are some nuances, so we'll try and hit on those nuances. Um, but we're starting off without Dumbledore, without Hagrid. I would like to get some behind the scenes of Hagrid at the uh, Azkaban, especially considering like how gritty things are, because things are a little bit even more gritty, I feel like, you know, raw, rough. Around the I edges. guess, but I mean, she doesn't write about any of them, so. no. But I think it's expected we're going to see scenes in the show that aren't written about, but they were. It was written that he went there. So Maybe. They can't really, I mean, they could, but they it probably won't put anything role. poignant in it, you know, right. that changes the plot. I mean, it's all. no different than when Dumbledore's away. Yeah. It but that one's giving role. it away, though, I think. That one showing him away gives away a little bit more of what you could have picked up on, that he was really there, wasn't away. I don't know. You know, where's this one? It's like, you know, he's there. Anyway, Hagrid's not there. Um, Dumbledore's not there. Everyone's nervous and tense because um, children are dropping like flies. No, they're not. Well, <laughs> they're laying flat on the ground and being wafted down the stairs. Okay? But they did, they did change the rules. They did change the rules. Yeah. The teachers have to, the professors have to shuffle them around to the other classes. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I guess they were. Okay, I didn't pick up on that, I guess. Because I cause I think later on, I remember Snape takes them to Herbology, I think it is. I didn't piece two and two together that it was an actual rule change. There's I think it was probably stated, and I just something about breezed that. over it. Um, and uh, let's see, Draco's gloating about, you know, his dad... Getting rid of him and... Um, Dumbledore, you mean. Getting rid of Dumbledore and hoping for a new headmaster and hoping Hermione's the next to D.I.E., you know what I'm saying? And also, you know, smooching some Snape butt. Smooching Snape... Oh, Snape's butt, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which, You'd make a fantastic headmaster. But I will say, I know, yeah, and Snape does have that little smirk, but he doesn't ever diss Dumbledore in any way. Like, no, it's even he, clear in those scenes he that he says has back. allegiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. he's not going to, like, profess it or anything. Yeah. Um, you don't want to show But he wouldn't be upset to be headmaster. No, I don't think he would. Um, I mean, I don't think he was particularly pleased when he was. Well, I mean, it wasn't well, of course not. No, look at the circumstances. Situation. Yeah. I, I mean, like, minus <clears throat> Voldemort. Yeah. I'm saying, I think Snape, having grown up, being picked on, has a certain lust for power. Yeah, um, I think we talked about. We had a whole power never, combo. Had a chance to take advantage of. Yeah. So, yeah. I actually think he'd be a good leader. I don't think he has all that much ego. Well, I mean, he largely protected the students in that yeah. somewhat precarious He's been situation. been kind of protecting Harry, even though he doesn't want it to come across that way. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book version. I mean, when yes. we get to the show, it's... Yeah. He's going to seem a lot more mean Which maybe, first. you know, we've talked about how casting him would be challenging... Maybe not so much, because now I'm thinking it would be a different sort of actor you'd want to cast because they're well, displaying differently yeah. a little bit. Theoretically, it'll look more like the description, oh, unless like, like yeah, Alan Rickman. Why because am I thinking? I'm thinking of the actor that's in the Fantastic Beast with the dark hair. Like, let's not do him, please. I I think I think the general <laughs> idea is you have to stick to the book representations even though they're not realistic most of the time you have to try to find somebody that fits those yes uh, perhaps more than the movies i don't think they're gonna so be that they as are different exact i think they'll still that's what i'm approach saying approach it because uh, you don't want them to look like the movie counterparts right no i mean i don't think they're gonna be as uh exact as the books you don't think so i think they're gonna try i think they'll try harder i think I, they'll try harder the, yeah the for sure but you don't smaller, want to because you're dealing with just UK well, are they? People. I don't know. Have they well, announced that? Are they only doing UK stuff? I'm not going to hire an American to come over and pretend to be British. Yeah. And they didn't do it with anything else, so I don't see why they would change that. Yeah. There's also certain rules over there because they'll be filming. So I, I don't know how it all will shake out. I mean, we, <clears throat> we know that one of the um, 
was a grip hook originally was um why am I forgetting his name? Mini Me. Um Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know he, the actor. I don't name. think he was maybe I'm wrong. I don't think he was British. I don't I don't mm, think he had an accent. I don't think he was British. But he was also that. a goblin and didn't have a lot of lines, so you know, mm. you kinda get to skirt the Oh he the did play him? Yeah. I thought you meant they had and then he died. thought about he died. Yeah. And then that's why um <laughs> And again, I f- I'm completely forgetting his name. This is horrible. Yeah. But, you know, he took on another role. It's like fifth or sixth one in the, the Hold series. On. Are you talking about Vern Troyer? Yes. Mm. He played the I original think it's Grip coming Hook. back to me. I'm pretty sure oh, it was. Wait, we had a Dumbledore situation and I didn't realize it? Well, how would you? They're made up so much. I know, but. I mean, You'd see minor differences. But yeah. But the amount of screen time oh. he had was so little that it didn't really play a role. You know what Interesting. I mean? So um, I, I think that's the sort of thing we're looking at here <clears throat> is there's a pretty good chance that when we get to the show, the goblins kind of look the same as the movie. Yeah. Because there's not any reason for them gonna... to be different yeah but we'll see it's up to the person who's running the show how much different they want to make <clears throat> those sorts of things you know yeah so uh, when it comes to this and we're going to get there soon the i think the spiders are going to look quite a diff, uh, bit mm. different well cgi has also improved quite a lot and maybe not all of it i know i was gonna say maybe not it's not cgi or maybe it's a combo i don't know we've got a lot i, I let me just like briefly say we i don't know i think we said this in the very beginning but You'll notice that we we talk a lot about the movie, um, the movies compared to the books, and that's because we're reading these to prepare for the show. So I'm mostly curious about like what would be appearing in the show that has not appeared, and in what ways um, than in the movies. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But they keep getting walked around to, to the classes. They're not able to find the spiders. Um, yes. They they because they can't leave the groups. To go scouting on their own. So they're just taking looks every now and again when they're walking through the right. halls. And then he does eventually see them. Right. Um, why, do I, why do I have pruning shears? Was he pruning at the time or something? I have it next to. See spiders. Anyway. So he sees the spiders. Oh, he has this moment. Because it's in it's in the... Um, Bushes? Was it in? No. I it's, forget where it, they were. It's in Herology Obviously. when they see some spiders. Oh. Okay. Wow, just reread them. Okay, just reread them chapters. So anyway, they see the spiders, um, Ron and Harry, let's get the invisibility cloak um, and head over to um, get Fang because they felt like he was a suitable companion to take him, take them into the Forbidden Forest. Yeah. Um, who is it? Ron says, aren't there werewolves? And then yeah. Harry says, no, but there are unicorns too. There are good things in there too. The centaurs are all right. Centaurs. And, and the unicorns. Okay. <laughs> So that's there. Anyway, I mean, not super pivotal information. Um, oh, I wrote down Lockhart is happy that Hagrid's locked up. So that's just how oblivious Lockhart is well, that's to he, what's going on. He thinks Fudge <clears throat> wouldn't have arrested him unless he was right. 100% sure he, right. he had done it. I wonder why he would be so convinced of Oh, well, because he's just going to play along with doing. whoever's in power because it keeps him, you know, important. Oh, we need to make some treacle toffee, by the way. Because Do we? They, they made some treacle toffee for Fang because he was being loud. And it gummed his... Uh, maybe we don't. I, mean, I don't need any fillings coming out. Never those. mind. Mix that. <laughs> or just make it and bring it into the muggle job. Um, so then they t- they leave the cloak at the at his hut. Because yeah. it it's 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 pitch dark, as you said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't like that first. Um, and there's no need for it. And they've got Lumos anyway. So they're going into the um, forest. And then we have... I think it plays out as far as the car... Is pretty similar. No, because the car okay. doesn't show up until later. I thought later. it showed up later. Okay, so the car know, shows yeah. up first. They see this bright light. Yeah. And when I was reading it, I was like, is that Aragog? Why would there be a bright light? And then it's the car. So maybe that's why I was thrown off, because it doesn't happen then. So well, the car shows up. Because the lights um, just suddenly turn on. And move toward Harry. Um, but then shortly after, Harry looks over, and Ron's face is frozen, and he's staring. And there's something coming out of the woods. And this is where it gets different. Right? I'm pretty sure I just pulled up the scene. So out comes a spider, which is, I'm sorry, the size of a cart horse. Cart house? Cart horse? Cart horse. Yeah. It's meaning so like the, a carriage? Is that so what she means? You're talking by? about the smaller spiders. Yes. Though. Right. Okay. Yeah. But it, there was one that came out first um, because it gets them. Oh, right. They so, get picked up. Yeah. 
Yeah, which yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't think happens. No, no, okay, no, no, no. so so the spider comes out. They just keep following um, the, the spider. Size of, yeah. What is a cart horse? Is it a carriage? I'm well, trying to I, imagine. I assume it's a horse that pulls a cart, so. Oh, it's the actual horse. Okay. Oh, oh that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> um, are so, they bigger horses? Anyway. I mean, it's probably not. It's I probably guess like what I'm realizing tall. is later on the description of Aragog. It's As a small not elephant. that much bigger than a cart horse. Well, it's probably double the size. You think so? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, this spider, not Aragog, mm -hmm. um, lifts them both up and starts taking well, them over. No, there's more than one spider. Yes, but there's one that They're comes. They're each carried by a spider. Did it talk to them? It, I think it did a little bit. It didn't talk to them now, I don't think. I think it. No, I think, I think the first thing was them up. Aragog saying kill them or something like that when they started. The, sh the spider started, that spider started talking to Aragog. Right. So he brings them over to Aragog, um, and he's like, is that Hagrid? No. Okay, well, then I don't care. Kill him. Um, which obviously freaked them out. Uh, but yeah, we didn't. I want to see that scene. I want to see how they pull that scene off. Because um, you don't It'll want be very things different. too uh, CGI heavy. I got to say, I don't think they're going to do it this way. No? Well, no, because this is described as if the spider's got eight eight legs, it uses six of them and is somehow carrying them with the other ones as if the arms can just flip around. So I don't... Hey, what is it called when humans have like hypermobility? Uh, Maybe um, some spiders do? All I'm saying is Magical it's, it's going to look really weird. It will look weird. So I think but they'll do it a slightly different way, but probably still have Harry the scene Potter gets happen weird that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I don't know. Maybe it just picks it up in his mouth or something. Maybe there's like two of them and one each pick them up or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how they'll do it, but I don't yeah, think it's it not could like be the same way it's Yeah, it's not like the troll scene where you can just yeah. with a hand. Yeah. But yeah, that is, <clears throat> that's very different from the films is that they're carried in. Because in the films, they just they just keep following the spiders until they're there. Yeah. And then suddenly they're being surrounded, you know. Yeah. Which does still happen here. They're carried yeah. in and then... <laughs> and then they're There's surrounded. There's a wall of spiders, yeah. Yeah, and then they have the conversation about they should just kill them. I don't remember, did Aragog talk about um, Hagrid uh, finding him a wife? No. Mosage? Is no, that that's right not in... I have no idea. How sweet. He found him a, a lover. Do we get that in there? Do we end up with a, with a mo... Is it Mosage? Plush? Can I? Well... Does she have a flower on her head or something? In her mouth, maybe? <laughs> What makes a spider more feminine looking? Do you tell me. Yeah, just a <laughs> um, But anyway, they mentioned that. And then he just gets into the whole Chamber of Secrets and how um, he was never the one to kill the person in mm. the bathroom. Which is the same. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that part's And I think, I mean, isn't pretty much the rest the same? They go... Uh, pretty much, because once you're in that little grove with the spiders, outside of Aragog in the movies is, like, way bigger than he's referenced to here. Yeah. Um... You know, uh, I, I do think, think the spiders are going to look cooler. I think at this point, it's probably about the same. I think the way it's described here mm. is there's more spiders than you actually see in the film. Yeah. But um, beyond that, it kind of plays out exactly the same. The car comes in. I wonder if the films, I wonder if the show in general, because we talk about this a lot, trying to pull in a thumbnail, maybe it won't be as dark. I think because that was partly the quality of the well, film. I mean, it was the way they be. shot it too. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the same as with the close-ups all the dang time. Yeah. Everything is up their noses the mm. whole time. Yeah, that's so true. So I think that'll be shot a bit different, too. That'd be um, cool. It's not made for a large movie screen, so they're not going to be filming it the same way. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, the car comes. The car comes back, yeah. gets them. I don't remember if Fang bolted off quite like he did. Once they came back, and he just like bolts off to Hagrid's. Um, oh. and, and, he's, and he's like sat. He's scared. Mm -hmm. He's under a blanket. <laughs> just see like a large, uh, uh, I was going to say dragon, a <laughs> dog like that, scared. Um, and then anyway, and then they're just sitting there sort of processing stuff. And Harry, which is the same, is like, wait a minute, a girl that died in the bathroom. Could it be a girl that's still there? Could it be Moni Myrtle? Yeah. Um, and so then he realizes he has his new clue, which is the same as the films. And that is chapter 15. All right. Chapter 16, The Chamber of Secrets. Um, so... Exams are still on, to their dismay, because um, they thought with all of this going on, they could at well, least, first, they could Ron's at least do that. unhappy. Ron's unhappy? Yeah. Because the, we pick up immediately after the not moaning Myrtle question mark from the last, into the last chapter. Yeah. Ron's unhappy because he's like, we were there the whole time, right next to her, and we could have just asked her oh, this and then, whole time. And then he had to face his fears. Speaking of which, we didn't really have that moment of like, I'm afraid of spiders. 
I'm afraid it, uh, yeah. He did say it? He mentioned it. No, he, no he, I mean in the scene with Aragog. We got it before. We got the whole conversation about the teddy bear and what made mm-hmm. him afraid of spiders. But we didn't, I don't feel like we saw his fear come alive Well, more it, than Harry's in that scene. He just freezes up. Yeah. Okay. All it right. kind of, I mean, in this sense. I hope they amplify it, it a you, little bit you, if he's that petrified. Yeah, but the visual of it is probably enough. Mm, yeah. Like to see, he just stops and doesn't say anything anymore and he just starts to stare. Yeah. That sort of thing. I, I think it'll be more impactful in a visual form. I think in the movie, <clears throat> they kind of overdid it. They overdid yeah. a lot of things with Ron. They, but we didn't get his backstory of his teddy bear. Right. But they also just made him kind of goofier. They did. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, I was going to say he's, he's a lot more manly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it, it comes off more like a Scooby-Doo. Spiders. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in here, he's like, no, he's he. He can feel like is a terrified, caricature. and he freezes up. Mm-hmm. You know, so we'll see how that plays out there. But yeah, he's he's just upset because <clears throat> he's like, we were literally there with Moaning Myrtle so many times. Yeah, and nobody knew to ask her anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you didn't like you. You meet a a ghost like that who's so different, and you don't pause and go. I wonder, yeah. I wonder who got her here. Why is she in the bathroom? <laughs> Why would you hang out in the bathroom? I um, um I don't think so we're, <clears throat> we're gonna get to the part about the the exams thing. I don't think they mention that in the films. Mm. And this is an interesting motivation because this is this kind of necessary. It explains why they didn't just cancel school. It's like, no, we kept the school open. Because so Dumbledore you would learn. wanted things to well, yeah. And, and the only way to... we can prove you learn is to have your exams <laughs> at the end of the year so you can progress. Yeah. So if we're not doing the exams, well, what's the point of continuing? Yeah. And that that, that makes sense. <coughs> um, so at least there's there's that actual motivation for why the school is open. I mean, we're right at the tail end of the year. So McGonagall's like, amazing news. And everybody's like, okay, nobody's being killed. Quidditch is back. And she's like, no, the mandrakes are ready. Mm-hmm. Um... We can restore everybody tonight. And and then, so, do we get this? So Ginny sits down, and she's feeling kind of nervous, and she wants to tell them something. We learn later on what it is. No. Like, I just, Ginny just poofs. She's just gone in the films. Yeah. Well, she just, like, and we get her a lot all the way up until the end. Not as much as Percy is poofed True. out of them. <laughs> Maybe for the benefit of the audience, okay? It, but it's no, actually, I think, it's worse, though, I think, because I know he, Percy I think is important later, and they shove him with yeah. Fudge and his posse later. <laughs> Yeah. In, in the movies it's and it's like oh. we don't get any of the backstory <clears throat> in the films for why he would be going there you get that in the books yeah and hopefully they you stick to the books like they claim they're going to with the the show yeah because that is important you need to see the you have the to progression see of up. percy mm-hmm. yeah to understand why he's there <laughs> otherwise you're like wait isn't that a weasley i bet there's a lot of people who didn't recognize that with percy when Fudge shows up and he stood there, <clears throat> uh, there's a very, very when good chance. When was this? In the later stuff. Oh. Before Fudge resigns, anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's <clears throat> it's just a shame to lose all that. Yeah. And yeah, same with Ginny. She's she's not really in the film much. Yeah, um, I know. It's like I hear people that are. Like, I've heard some people say Ginny's their favorite, and it's hard for Ginny to be my favorite, looking at just the films. Yeah. She's, well, there's just not enough of her. She's she's in it more. <clears throat> well, not later, well, later, because it? it's only once they become him. real close. But yeah, she's in it more. it's it's kind of like um, yeah, the second half. Because I think she thing, could but, be a favorite of mine if she, if. Yeah, yeah, there's not much here. She's not even in the book a lot this mm-hmm. time around. I mean, like she pops up a lot more than she does in the film, and and I, I think, think she'll it, show up more in the TV show than she does the book. I. Uh, well, she she did she'd be around, I guess. That's what I mean. It depends. She has how they to film exist it. It, because like... we should see <clears throat> other people in the background who will actually be characters in later books. Mm-hmm. I really want them to do that because like they Luna. failed to do that yeah. in the movies. Yeah. I want to see you those to people plan ahead far just enough. playing background characters until yeah. they show up because if they're not there, <clears throat> then it's it's too much like the book. Look, I don't where know it's why like, the movies ah, couldn't have done that. Look, it's not a mystery what the next book is. You well, know what's coming. I mean, I mean, yeah, they could have, especially with, with her. Yeah. Um, but we, we suffer that with a lot of people. I mean, like, we're about to hit Cedric in the next book, right? Yes. No, no. no. The one after. No, the one after. Well, that, again, <laughs> that's part of the problem. Yeah. Like, True. he should exist. 
he's he's pretty far along. In well, his it's also schooling. similar to I maybe mean, we could say this conversation. Then we don't get a lot of discussion about other schools either. And then just suddenly there's other schools. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of that. And, I would have liked and I, more I, hints I want, of that. Like, hey, we do it this way at this school, yeah. but over there. I want less of that when we get to the TV show. I don't want it to to suffer the issues that exist in the books mm -hmm, and then are accentuated in yeah. the movies. Like, maybe there's a poster somewhere about a Durmstrang or... or these... Oh, I thought you were saying you wanted less of that. No, no, no. I want more I of that. I want more yeah. of those things in the background. That weren't in the book. I don't want them to be talking about it, but yeah. I want yeah, yeah, yeah. representation. Like on a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Post or so that it's when it comes up, it's not like, oh, well, we just added this. You know, yeah. it's that sort of thing. So yeah. that's why I want, like, when we see Luna, I want her to have been in the background for the first yeah. three movies or whatever. Or, or, you know, three books. I want her to actually exist. <clears throat> and she doesn't have to exist here because this is book form. We only deal with characters yeah. that are talked about. Yeah. And, you know, that's fine. Totally but, agree. But that's where these are different mediums mm -hmm. and you get to... I think, Tell the story. I think the show can write some of the movie wrongs in that way. Yeah. Like actually have the yeah, characters exist yeah. would be so nice. There's because a few. There's a few of her, bits of her writing. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to, you might recognize like a Luna in the background because of the way she looks, but you wouldn't know 100% of and her. And her being in Ravenclaw. Until, yeah. Until mm -hmm. she's introduced yeah. as a character for the story. Yeah. And that'll be, that'll be really speaking nice. Of, so hopefully speaking of do that. characters, I mean, it's going to come up later, mm -hmm. but it kind of comes up now because she's whispering something. She's like, I got something I want to tell you. Yeah. We later learn what it was she really wanted to tell mm -hmm. them, but Percy thinks something different. Right. He thinks that she's going to tell a little secret, um, which again, that was a character that he mentions that we didn't really get much of. If she films, exists, she wasn't she's named. She's going to have or... to be in the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so anyway, she she does that, which kind of says a lot because it says a lot about her character, I think, to have some... It's like being under a spell of some kind, and you were able to break away a little bit of that to try and, and share what's happening, what's going on. Well, because as we find out later, <clears throat> she doesn't know that she's being controlled. Bewitched, yeah. But she does know weird things are happening, and she's been involved in them. Yeah. So at this point, she's Or scared. thinks so, because, I mean, are we skipping um, ahead? I mean, like she said, she found paint on her body. Right, right. That'll no, come up no, later, it, but... No, it, it, is, it is obvious she doesn't quite that piece she's together. involved, but yeah, she doesn't she remember it, and that's what that. scares her. Yeah. Um, So she's she's there, and she's sort of stuttering, and yeah. can't spit it out because <clears> she's afraid, and then eventually Percy comes in and says, I'm hungry. If you're not eating, Jenny, can, <coughs> can I sit there? And mm -hmm. she's like, yeah, fine. And she, you know, leaves. Yeah. We never find out anything. And, um, and then they go off to go see Hermione because, um, well, I think. Well, they weren't going they to. Were, they they thought, were going to sneak off. Yeah. They yeah. used Hermione as an excuse. <clears throat> right. McGonagall gets Intervenes. a teary eyed. Yeah. Because she thinks they really care about Hermione. But truthfully, they weren't <coughs> thinking about Hermione. No, they got a mission. It's like Buffy, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The mission matters. It comes yeah. first. So. But they do go to her. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is pretty similar. As far as wasn't the paper in her hand? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah all yeah. of that's pretty similar. The pipes, you know, the, the uh, basilisk being in the pipes is the same. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So they get that. Um, what happens next? Mrs. Norris reflection. Oh, they're going over, like, how everybody would have been petrified. And so then they go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Oh, so they kind of, like, hide so the, Ron and Harry, what did they hide in a closet or something? They were. They saw some teachers sort of gathering, and they hid to eavesdrop. Well, I think. Which, hang on. I they, was trying to remember in the films when, wh where were they located when they were actually? Because that part was first eavesdropping and hearing like another child was taken. Who was it? It was Ginny. It was Ginny Weasley. Um. Well, they were learned they in the same spot. They learned this stuff about the basilisk from the page. Yes. From Hermione. Um, then McGonagall mm -hmm. calls out over, you know, we'll call it the intercom, even though it's a magic. Thing. Oh my God. We need that. We need that in the films um, <laughs> in the show. All students need to return to house dorms right. at once. And then all teachers are returning to the staff room. Um, Harry and Ron are talking about if they should go. Uh, but hang on. I'm, I'm missing a step here. There's something. <clears throat> Cause they were, yeah, they were going to go to McGonagall. That's where they ended up here. They mm. went to the staff room looking for McGonagall. Mm. And then this message comes over, you know, loud message. And they go, they're going to meet here and tell us what this is about, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hide in this little. Um, Hidey hole. What no, they, what was it? What do they call it? 
wardrobe. I thought it was like I saw a closet, so. So they're just <coughs> hiding in a wardrobe. Fancier. And then all and then of the, the professors shot. come in and 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 Ron like like falls to the ground. Yeah, he slumps down, yeah. slides down the back. We don't really get that. That like that's a real care. Well, he uh, that's is, a, he cares for his family. He is way more emotional in the book than he is in the yeah. films. Yeah. Um so like he, he's a Hermione real Gryffindor. Well. Like, like he's feisty, he's yeah. willing to fight. He's his response to things is very <clears throat> much more emotional than Yeah, than I you think get this there. is why I'm I'm like full, I'm on Gryffindor. Because like everything that comes up with Hermione, we we skipped it earlier, but uh, when when Draco s said he wished it had been uh, Hermione no, that I died. No, I said that. I said no, that. but yeah, but Ron wants to oh yeah beat him up, but uh -huh. you know the bell rings and it's time to go and everybody moving stops him from being able to do anything. Yeah, like he 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 flies off the handle <clears throat> based on his his feelings, and this is another yeah. one of those things where he's like Ginny, and he just he can't handle it. Yeah, he's down. Um. Now he and does. He comes back pretty quick. Yeah, because <laughs> he's not there for. He's not just huddled there for hours, you know. Yeah, because you can't. You can't be brave if you're just sulking. <laughs> I, I you feel guess. feelings. That's how, that's why you are brave is because you care. Um, and so, and then on top of that, we still have the situation of like Gilderoy, you're our man. You can sort this out. Mm -hmm. And then what does he do? The same thing we see in the films is he goes back to his room. Although we just watched the clip, they kind of barge right in. But in the book, it sounded like they were kind of peeking in at first, look through the crack, and then. Um, well, he didn't like, open the door all the way. Right. Um, but that's that's not important for this. That's part. not important. So this scene here, the staff room. Yeah. It happens different. It it does this sort of does exist in the film. Um, yeah. All of the professors are meeting in the hall, where the writing is, and it's the next line that's been added. The one right, that right, they right. reference later about her skeleton will, will re remain in the chamber, chamber forever or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when Ron and and Harry are around the corner and they hear. About oh yeah. See, so I thought it was a different location. It's like the same scene, like... but it's a little different because then the next part is, oh well, Lockhart, weren't you just telling us how uh, you? I mean, I feel like it kind of matters because then you're not having that moment of like, get the kids in order, send them back to their rooms, something really dire's happened, yeah. and then they're gathering. Like it just heightens it more and more because we are getting into the chapters where it's like bing, bang, boom. Well, and I feel like it just builds the suspense more and more. The book version here, which we'll get, we should get with the show, is that Ron and Harry were going to go report to McGonagall what they knew. Yeah. Which means they are actually so they trying gonna, to be responsible. Which is different from the first book. So they learned right. since then. Oh, and, and I don't think it plays out that way in, in the movie. I, I don't remember yeah. why they're wandering around at that point. But <clears throat> uh, yeah, they they were going to be responsible. Now, unfortunately, they found out it was Ginny and now they can't be responsible anymore. So... <clears throat> That's personal. Yeah. Lockhart wanders up late i think at this one and he's it's a, i think the lockhart scene is pretty much the same it kind of is it's just a different location but yeah they're yeah every it, it wasn't it, his office no, no no no. i mean here before we get to the office oh okay i've already moved on to the office we're, so, already, at, we're already at the office so now. they're just like didn't he's you know this stuff, stuff and did, and then he turns and, and and goes to uh i don't what spell was he going to use on them did it say obliviate obliviate oh right right, right. whoa <laughs> that's not just like as we well, know in later, but, I mean, that's like all your memories. But you don't know that right now, I, I guess. True, because but he, didn't, he didn't get a chance to do anything here. Hindsight. But later, and then they expel Yarmus him, on end, which is the same. Yeah, and, and then, again, throwing wands out windows. Was it Lockhart's wand? Yeah, the window. So, so uh, that's twice in this book um, that Lockhart's wand has been thrown out the window. It's needed. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then they take him to the bathroom, um, and and then sort out. They see the little snake on the side. Was it in the same spot? I can't remember, but... Well, yeah, but the, the taps are labeled as copper, I think, which oh, is different than... That is different. It's a very silvery look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it also says it's scratched in, whereas in oh, the films it, it looks like it's... Uh, elevated. Uh, um, like it's... A metal piece It's on part top. of it, like it was cast oh. with it in there, the snake on it. Oh, it doesn't yeah. look like it was scratched in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the part where Moaning Wordle's like... Well, you know, did you, did you see where you <clears throat> where where you died? And she does that whole thing where she's like, over there, I saw great yellow eyes over there, and there, yeah, because she was gonna yell at the boy who was talking, but he was speaking some weird language, yeah, and then uh, yeah, 
And so then they go down this, it feels like a much more massive hole, I will say. Yeah, it's but pipe. the line is still the same, I think, yeah. uh, about it being like miles under the school or something. Yeah. Even though that's impossible. I think they go down in the same order, too. Um, and then, yeah, oh, yeah they, they, they go down. And then down. that scene is mostly similar um, because I feel like in that scene, so they go down, all three are down there. Mm -hmm. And then we do end up getting, was it at this moment of him trying to obliviate their memories again? Well, this is when he actually starts to to. Well, no, this is when he does cast it. So right, because it rebounds. The, yeah, but I think we learned that it rebounded in that scene, whereas in the book we learned later that it rebounded. It wasn't until they came back to him, or do I have that wrong? Well, was it in the films? It was when I we guess came back, the scene or when you Harry see came a back? bit more. But I mean, it's obvious because <coughs> the, yeah, the I know. explodes I, in his face. You I know. know, but in the book, to Harry's perspective, he didn't pick up on that until he returned. Well, he what wouldn't. I'm he wouldn't know. Yeah. And and Ron was busy like not paying attention to him at the moment it yeah. happened. So And so yeah. then we just get the the door. It the roughly happens the same. Chamber it, of Secrets the, door. The door is going to look different it. in the show. There's a few things. 100% with the, the chamber door is going to look different. Yeah. Um yeah. I, I do really like, like the, the the movie doors. The walkway in <clears throat> in the movie is probably pretty close to this with the snake column thing. Yeah. It, as it's well, do you feel like I read it as if they were? Wait, we never went into spiraling the up the column instead Did of the heads are column. So, oh, I need to reread that. We'll see. Did we never got the chamber in Hogwarts Legacy? Did we? We never went down there. Uh, we, was it ever it available? Was to, we miss referenced? It? But Wouldn't no, that I have been don't cool. Think or I guess we not. I guess you in. don't want to open it. Yeah. I would have liked to seen how they portrayed that because I think it would have been different from the films. Well, it would probably be like here where it's a full statue in my <clears> head. <throat> um, we're going to get into that. We didn't get to that, right? <laughs> Hang on a sec. Anyway, that is chapter 16. Chapter 17, the heir to Slytherin, a.k.a. when everything just goes down um, in the Chamber of Secrets. So this is what we were just talking about. He walked in. And we have here, we'll pop over an image. It does up say here. 17 columns, though. Yeah. So the movie, Hang this on to part that image. is pretty accurate, I think. Okay. Because it does say hollow eye sockets on the stone snakes. I think that is actually how they're represented. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. But again, the statue. <clears throat> so the big statue. Totally different. The omnipresent, um, omnipresent, I don't know, Salazar Slytherin. Mm -hmm. In the films, and in a lot of merchandise, there's even a new one, but I'll put an image over here. Um, it's his head yeah, down to his head. beard. Yep. So I was kind of like, when I was reading it, I was like, oh, that is different, because it was talking about the feet protruding out from underneath the mm -hmm. bottom of his robes. So you're getting the full Salazar, full which almost makes me feel like it's way taller mm -hmm. than, than this one is, which could be. Very big. Is that more frightening, or is it less frightening to be more cramped in with a large serpent well <laughs> what are you doing over there i think a serpent down here. i think a basilisk coming out of the mouth of a bigger statue true because it'll probably be, be longer scarier falling down further mm -hmm. oh. whereas in the film and, and i know this is probably a cg <clears throat> thing they this had, basilisk has got to be better right <laughs> they had the basilisk come out of the mouth and go straight into the water so they yeah. didn't have to render the whole thing all the time that sort of stuff yeah. So, and then he sees Ginny, which is the same. But at this the scene, base. this scene, is very different from the film. It's very contained <coughs> and quick. So, if as you, far as the snake coming out, the whole Wait, we haven't gotten this, this. Whoa, we haven't gotten the snake yet. No, no, no. This just this, seeing Ginny. You this mean. whole thing from here till the end of yeah, of the, you the mean, fight yeah is yeah true very oh, yeah. contained. Mm -hmm. um, Harry doesn't go very far, right? So, so when everything starts to kick off, ahead. He, he I, I don't even remember Harry running in the book. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Well, he's I not mean, like going he around to back off, hiding in a little corner, he, snake coming down. Well, terror. That that kind of happens ish. He closes his eyes and he starts backing up. Yeah. Right. Let's and, just bounce around. We don't even go anywhere. Well, I mean, there's nothing else. The beginning the, part of this is one of the kind differences. Of the um, I mean, we'll come back, but um, is the fox scene? That's, That's what I'm different. saying. So Harry's backing off. Uh -huh. We don't. He's not running away. He's right. not running from right. it at all. Yeah. But he. This is. It's kind of the same, but it kind of isn't. So you know, Fox comes in. But before hat. he comes in, they yeah. hear it. it's like a, it's right, like a right. songbird. Yeah, like yeah. they hear it for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's eerie too. Yeah, and he also. Which is interesting. Um, 
didn't say, uh, didn't it say, yeah, no, uh, Fox landed on, on, on Harry's shoulder. Oh, he burst into flames too, first. There was, he was on the top of a column. There was a flame. We didn't get that. He came flying in. So he was already there. He didn't come flying in. He was on the top of a column, then yeah. came down from that. It's weird. <clears throat> it is weird. Because it feels like he can kind of like teleport ish. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how they mm, play this out. I mean, maybe him and Dumbledore are much more there. in sync than. I couldn't tell if the, the boom thing that was happening yes, was the just word him boom going was fast. Yeah. Like he can just take off really yeah. quick, or if it was him popping in at certain places. Right. It, but there was a. It wasn't burst of flames, so it felt like he just kind of popped in. Well, because we'll get to this later, but... Or it was already well, there. Well, no, we won't get to this later because it's not important, but Ron never saw Fox. So in where did films? Fox come from? No, in here. Ron didn't see Fox Exactly, that's what I mean. I think through. he's already in there. I think he was already there. I think Dumbledore knew this was happening. He was already there. He was ready. So Dumbledore knew the where the chamber was and just decided not to do anything about it. I think it. Dumbledore didn't know where the chamber was. He's decided to not do anything about a lot of things, and he's let Harry take the fall because he's hoping Harry can pull it off. Well, this time it's like, well, Ginny is almost prove. dead, by the way. I mean, you notice, though, <laughs> he, he is sort of like in the first book, uh, which is very different from the films, he steps in completely and just takes out Quirrell, um, t takes care of Quirrell. Um, whereas this one, he gets a helping hand for sure. He probably would not have survived. <laughs> Let's maybe had he not had the assistance of Fox through Dumbledore but as we go book to book I think I mean certainly in the films it becomes more the onus is more on Harry he's learned more and more he can do it more you're not getting I mean you do we'll still we get the Horcrux help this and, in the show as to how yeah. they like what she meant because obviously she's involved oh the other thing that's different or I think it's different so okay so we hit on the Fox actually let's let's hit on Fox more um mm -hmm. so what's different is we, we talked about him kind of whether he's there or not. Fox is a he, right? I mm -hmm. keep misgendering. <laughs> I know these things. And um, oh, this is jumping ahead. Drops the hat. Mm -hmm. I was going to get it. So Fox, Fox, Fox basically appears like three times. Um, kind of leaves. Leave. No, he never leaves, leaves. Yeah, but he seems to leave the side of Harry and then just like shows up again. Well, but like, he comes in, drops the hat, Do you want to talk hat, about the sword scene? on Harry's or, shoulder. Yeah, and I, like we never see him off. sitting on Harry's. Like, He's a petite little I, I think, child. I think He's that's one huh? largest bird. Yeah, I'd like um, to see that. I think at this point the basilisk gets called out. Yeah, Fox flies up to on. the statue after the basilisk comes down. I think. Oh yeah, okay. So it goes up there. And then do we get? Remind me in the yeah. films. Do we get? Um, hit, uh, Voldemort, Tom Riddle talking about Ginny writing back to him about the things like what we talked about earlier about like she's getting scared she feels like um i don't feel like we get this long kind of no, explanation it's, not long. it's just like doo -doo -doo, there's a I'm quick Baltimore. mention of like her <clears throat> being a stupid girl or something and we don't get the commentary that um his closest friends knew his name right right i, I don't, don't think they mentioned that either yeah 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 which is proof that dumbledore is not a close friend but who was who was well, his he, close friend? He's talking then? about his age group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, where are these people? Which is Are they like, some of the Death Eaters now? Like, I don't know. They'd be his be age, really... which is old. Yeah. Um, it's hard to say. Fudge, maybe? I, I mean, there's there's, <laughs> there's nothing there. Yeah. But yeah. Um, but those are some little things that I was like, when we the basilisk really get that. comes out, uh -huh. Harry does close his eyes and he starts yes. backing up. Yes. And he bumps into something. The basilisk knocks. A, a pillar over or something. Are you talking the films or the book? No, in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That that kind of hits Harry, and then he realizes he's not being followed by the basilisk. So he decides to open his eyes, which and is he, different. From this the is films. when he sees foxes. Yeah, Attacking. because Harry yeah. in the film Harry runs all the way down, and he only yeah, sees the, the fox basilisk I... thing as a shadow. Yeah. Which is obviously a cost saving measure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you have to factor that in, but. Um, because of the way things are run now, I think we'll actually get this scene the way it's written. Mm -hmm. So then Harry is kind of right there and, and Tom is right over there and this is all happening. And <clears> this <throat> is way bloodier, mm. the way it's described here. Yeah. Fox is oh, the eyes. jabbing yeah. his beak into his eyes and it's bleeding down, mm. in, uh, down its face. So it's much more obvious to Harry yeah. um, and the viewer that he's blind. But the basilisk. Never leaves this room. 
Yeah. Right. So all of this continues <clears throat> to happen. Yeah. Harry's not afraid to look That's what you meant anymore. by contained. Very yeah, contained. it's very yeah. contained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's quick. Yeah. Harry's not climbing the statue here. No, that's true. Yeah. I forgot about the climbing of the statue. Like, immediately when he gets... It's like well, Indiana Jones, you know? <laughs> so, Harry's still afraid, mm -hmm. right? He he pulls on the hat, and he's like, help me, help me, but help now, me. But now, in the films, he does not put on the hat. No, the sword the hat, The sorting hat's just laying there, and then just like, oh, a glimmer of something. Yeah, yeah. But no, he puts the hat on. I really like that. Yeah. It's weird and awkward. I mean, there's a sword inside, but this is magic. We already know well, about purses that go on for ages. But... It's because earlier... <clears throat> You know, he put the hat on, asking it if he was sorted in the right place. Right. So now he sees it's, the hat and he's like, it's help, become help, a help friend me. of he, his. He doesn't know if that's how he needs to talk to it to get yeah. the help that he was told he could get. I'm just trying to imagine how did they portray this. Do yeah. you hear the clink on his well, head? Well, it did say it hit him. It did say. And he was knocked a little bit loopy for a second. Yeah. Um, the other thing, and also the is, sword is described slightly different, but that was like previously more than slightly. Mm -hmm. Um, the name is in a different spot later. Is it? Yep. Oh, I was thinking of the gems that are it's like on the blade in the movie, I believe it says oh. Godric Gryffindor on the blade. Oh. It says it's on the bottom underneath the hilt. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Cause the noble collection one is on the blade. Right, because it's yeah. a movie uh -huh. replica. Hmm. So it'll look, it'll look a, a bit different in like the I like it on uh, the blade. show. I don't. It makes no. no sense. It doesn't make sense. I know. Unless it's just like. But then how she know. describes it in here is weird too. But we, that's later. All right. Um, so here, <clears throat> you know, it, it's all very quick. Yeah. We, you know, the blade shows up. But I will say the one part that's quick, uh, unless, uh, sorry, you haven't gotten to the diary part. No. The, the, the blade comes out of the hat. Harry's like, oh, well, this is what I need. And mm -hmm. he. Instantly is jamming it in the, you know, the snake's brain, basically. Gets the... He's gets the fang similarly, in. right? Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. It's all kind of the same, that one bit <laughs> yeah. of the scene. Uh, but it's all right there, yeah. you know. He, he's barely moved in all of this. Jams it in, mm -hmm. gets the poison. This is very different. Is it described as poison in the book? No, it is, The right? venom or poison, whatever it is. Oh, I think it's it a is. venom, maybe. Yeah. yeah, which is poison, yeah. Well, anyway. they are different. But, are you about you know. to talk about how the, the interaction between Fox and him is different? Yes. that's different. It's very different. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's more loving. Well, it's also more accurate to what probably would have happened. <clears throat> yeah. So, in the film, it's all delayed. Yeah. You know, Ginny's already awake. Because we got to make it seem like he's really Harry dying. And is, like, dying out, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, now, I want to make sure I get the order right. Um... Does he do, does he stab the book before Fox? No. No, because Tom noticed it. Yeah. Right. Tom doesn't remember in the moment that Fox <clears throat> can heal. I know, uh, which is kind of Harry. surprising. Well, it's but not. But when arrogance is in the way of things, it's yeah, in the well, way of things. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have cared about or anything that couldn't benefit him. Uh-huh, true. Uh, and there was no chance he was going to get a phoenix to, to work with him. So yeah. it kind of makes sense there. So yeah, Fox lands, and is and is crying. They make reference to it crying, and he's like, yeah. "Oh, you, you know." I think Tom is even like, "I know." Oh, we get a little thing from Tom. That I don't. He's so sad or whatever. I know. Yeah. Um, but and how much he's going to enjoy watching him die? Yeah, he's healing Harry literally right in front of much more than Tom. one tear. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, which I'm like, how did one tear? Um, is it that magical? And even Harry at first doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, but realizes that you know his vision is clearing. But he does still say, "You've been, he's you've been healed. really good." Like that sort of line. Thing. Yeah. Um, when he <clears throat> realizes he, he's healed, that's when Tom Riddle goes, <coughs> "Oh, mm -hmm. right, Phoenix can heal." Right. And he shoos the bird away. Yeah. <laughs> it threatens it, and and Fox uh, uh, takes off at that point. I think. <clears throat> but Fox is the one that brings the diary. Right. So, so that's after. I know. Uh, I know. That's after. Um, but I'm just like, away. where did the diary go that it had to bring it? That Fox had to bring it. Think it's just a matter of him just bringing it closer. Well, or bringing attention to it. Yeah, bringing attention to it. Yeah, like hey, you need to get rid of this. And that part is pretty this similar. Is how you stop him. I recall in the film he does react pretty quickly, as far as like grab well, the thing, grab in the, the film, fang, stab the book. This is a decision Harry makes. In here, it's a decision. It's an instinct. Fox tells him. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Is like, hey, you need to do this. Now, I have a suspicion that the sword <laughs> may have done the same kind of work that the 
Basilisk Fang does. Mm. Oh, because I wrote this down. we find out later I... that the sword is used on another, you know. Are there really no roosters left? Are all the roosters gone? Was there no way for They're Dumbledore to get a rooster? If well, they, that, they if it's so got, fatal to they a, a basilisk. They could have brought in more, sure. But nobody was knew it was a basilisk. Dumbledore allegedly. was really that oblivious, you think? This whole, I guess I just give him too much credit. I have no credit. idea. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, is Fox working <clears throat> on his own here and s- realize... Like, I feel Fox like they is hinted in here. at it being a dumbledore sent in situation. No, no, no. But I'm saying, in this moment, yeah. Fox is going... That diary is the problem. I'm going to throw it at Harry. Oh, possibly. Yeah. Because yeah, I think, otherwise... Yeah, I think yeah. that part could be... If if we treat this like we did the first one, where Dumbledore knows everything, which I, I'm i not going to... No, I don't think he knows I everything. Think so. I don't yeah. think he knew where the chamber was. I think part of him wanted to believe it's it didn't exist. a lot of years to sort that he out. Knew it wasn't... But that says he, something about Tom Riddle. If it, In the book, it says it took him five years to figure out what the chamber was, and this has been, what, 50 years, and Dumbledore hasn't sorted it out? Mm-hmm. Pretty, you know... Yeah. There's, but you're so powerful and smart and you couldn't remember that a phoenix. There's a bunch of things. <clears throat> Heels yeah. Anyway. But, well, you have to remember, <coughs> for the most part, this is 16-year-old Tom Riddle. Yeah. The things he knows about Harry were given to him by Ginny and possibly <clears throat> Malfoy. Yeah. Uh, Lucius. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not clear, but we do know Ginny was talking <clears throat> to Tom a lot. So yeah. Tom is filled in on what's Maybe going on Maybe we get those scenes, Ginny. too. Like, these things that are yeah. mentioned... Um, and so, would know happen. Other than that, you know, Tom is still the 16 year old. Yeah. So it makes sense that he go, oh, Phoenix. Like yeah. he, that wouldn't register yeah, right away that's because, true. you know, this is a like fifth year student or whatever. That's true. You have to keep that in He's mind. Still, um, um, yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he doesn't really come off as all that threatening here. He calls in no. the basilisk. Uh, the basilisk. Well, the, well let's be he, honest. I just watched a clip and like the actor. He's <laughs> he thinks that Harry's just gonna kind of die because of the the basilisk, you know, venom stuff. Yeah, going into his veins, and then when Fox heals him, he shoes off Fox. And there then, is no description of any change in his body. He would have some change. I didn't recall a description. Like we see something. There was no time. Yeah, that's true. It does happen really fast. I mean, Fox is like right there. Yeah. Like, don't worry, I got this, bro. <clears throat> and yeah. Then, um, and then stabby stabby of the diary. Yep. Then Ginny wakes up. And the thing that I noticed the most about Ginny, both at the end of this chapter and the beginning, is she's much more traumatized. She's really emotional. When they bring her back, when he brings her over to Ron, she even like pushes back and cries. Like. Right. She almost died. And well, I feel but like she we also didn't almost really, killed a lot of people. She almost died. She almost she was responsible for a lot of things that yeah. you know. Um and she she's yeah, she's fearful of everything. Well, just that's being what that makes person, the scene being later expelled. More impactful too. I just that is really traumatizing. <laughs> and we didn't get that in the films really. Um but anyway, so they uh they head back. They are carried by Fox. That's all similar. I think even the order, I was kind of reading it, and I was like the order that they're hanging on to each other. I did think it was interesting the way they just dis- uh, Harry dis- Harry described the book with J.K. Rowling described that Fox's feathers were warm to the touch, the end of the feathers, almost like, I guess, to signal Harry that, to grab those. Well, like, the, the bird is warm. <clears throat> it it made it sound like particularly the this... very end where he was going to grab. Oh, I thought um, the only thing in here It's almost was... like it like ignited something in itself. It has the capability to I, lift uh... that much weight, which well, yeah. Dumbledore hinted yeah. at previously. Well, I thought, I thought Fox just turned around and was like, Yo. Oh. oh. Well, I just didn't get the whole sense the whole bird was hot. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. I mean, the darn well, thing it, burst it, into flames every Somewhere so in here it mentioned um, <clears throat> when he was on his shoulder, he felt the warmth coming off. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, then I must have missed that. But we get the same scene where they're being carried up um, yeah. a long way and they get to the top. Um, the Lockhart line is was the Myrtle same there as the, greeting them as the movie. Still. The Lockhart the, the, line. What was the Lockhart line? The remember? thing about uh, this feels just like magic or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do kind of like that line. Yeah. Uh, it just hints at where his headspace is. Um, and um, then Fox is lead, leading the way to Minerva's office. I don't know if we got that. Well, like, I thought no, we were just kind of one no, and done Fox, with Fox after Fox that. Fox drops them off and then they just they go away. Because Fox I didn't continues realize, on here. I don't think I realized, and I I was trying to piece this together, and it makes sense. I I think this is true in the movie as well, that we're in McGonagall's office. But yeah. my brain always said we were in Dumbledore's yeah. office. Yeah. But then I started thinking about where the scene with <coughs> Lucius is, 
And I'm like, wait, were we in McGonagall's oh. office? So now I'm going to pay attention to that when we watch it again. Shut up. And be like, ooh, no. Okay. No, it's not that important. But I was yeah. just like, oh, because this scene is so uh, different that we're coming up to I chapter know. 18. I know. I was like, I've thought. there's nobody there. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, anyway, that is the end of chapter 17. Chapter 18, Dobby's reward. I think we know what's coming here. Yeah. Um, but they're in Minerva's office. Um, yeah. And also, them. Mrs. Weasley is there. Mr. Weasley, Mr. too. Mr. Weasley is there. That's right. The Weasleys um, are there. Crying. Uh, but more importantly, the group that walks in is Harry, Ron, Ginny, and Lockhart. Uh-huh. Uh, and then inside the room already is... Uh, McGonagall, Dumbledore, and the Weasleys. Yeah. Which makes a lot more sense for uh, them to be there. You would inform I'm, the parents. I know I'm likely forgetting something from the film, but I'm pretty sure almost this entire scene is just Dumbledore and Harry. Right. I think I, that's the way I remember it. So. Because um, um, I certainly don't remember this whole conversation of um, Ginny, like, you know, how do I tell my parents? Harry right. looking at her and Dumbledore stepping in and kind of. Yeah. Dumbledore uh, explaining things. <laughs> well, he, he just, it's really heavy stuff. Yeah. She's 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She is treating oh, everything teenager. as if it's her fault because, yeah. I mean, kind of is. She <coughs> was the one that kept talking to Tom. <clears throat> yeah. Even though she was afraid of him. So there's, there <clears throat> is something to that. But she's a kid. Right. But, I mean, she, I guess what's interesting here is she is still mature enough to recognize that her actions caused problems. Right. And I think that's what is important here is like she's dealing with that. And you know, not every eleven year old is going to realize that what they did was what caused the problems. Yeah. They just know they were involved in it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have that going on. So she's already having this like almost mini depressive episode coming up. And and, and then Dumbledore kind of lightens it. Mr. Weasley says, Never trust didn't I tell you? Yeah. Never trust anything that can think for itself. If you can't see where it keeps its brain. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we need that line. That's such a weird well, and quirky I mean, thing. Just having any of them there would have true, been nice. True. I mean, there was no discussion about yeah. the Ginny stuff. And but then yeah, um, they tell. So Dumbledore says, hey, uh, Weasley's uh, Ginny and Mr. And Mrs. Weasley. Why don't you head up to the, the feast, the hospital? Oh, yeah, the hospital. So right, Ginny right. This can before. feel better. And he tells yeah. you to have a hot chocolate. He that should make you feel better. Sort of. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Well, um, we know about chocolate, so, I mean, it's Dementor-related, but maybe it's got more problems. And then he... Chocolate's great. Then he tells McGonagall <clears throat> to go off to prep the feast, and then yeah. it's just Dumbledore, Dumbledore and Harry. Ron, and Harry. Yeah. And then he sends Ron off. Where did he send Ron? I forgot. Uh, was it to see Hermione? I forgot. Um, actually forgetting. It's not that important. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. Let's see here. Oh, it's because uh, Lockhart's still there. Dumb, yeah. Dumb, oh, dumb yeah, brain yeah, here. Yeah. So um, that. <laughs> they explain the memory charm that backfired and stuff. Right. Um, so he takes him to the hospital. Yes, I believe yes. that is accurate. Yeah. <clears throat> so now it's just Dumbledore. Now it's and, Dumbledore and, and Harry. Harry. And then we get the, I think this is, we get a similar conversation about why Harry can speak parcel tongue? Yes, yes, yes. How yes. some powers were a lot of this stuff is, within is him. The same, yeah. But this is where we get different. So we get the barging in of. Well, hang on. Are we hanging Before on? we get there, what am I missing? The sword. This is the part I wanted to talk oh, about. Oh yes. And then he saw the name engraved just below the hilt, which is interesting. Interesting. Um, because that's a really big name to put below the hilt. Yeah. So it was very tiny. But, but. they described the gems, the jewels, whatever, as right. egg-sized. So I'm thinking yeah. this hilt is much bigger than... Well, I mean... It can't be too big. you got to be able to hold it. Um, it. It makes sense. How big was Godric? Well, but the handle, where your hand is, and then where that bulbous part can is be bigger hilt underneath. Is this portion? Is that huh? the hilt no, of a sword? the bottom. So you've got... No, I, n I understand that it's on the bottom. No, no, um, like literally the bottom, though. Okay. You're talking about like the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the guard. <clears throat> okay. And then where your hand is. So kind of the hilt <coughs> there is going to. Wait, gonna the have... hilt is where your hand is? No, no, the hilt is under it. The At hilt the is end? down below. Yeah, you've got oh. the handle, but the hilt is down below. Oh. The weight of that is kind of meant to balance. Balance, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that it would be kind of big. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> the sword isn't going to be super heavy. I don't think it's. It's this, I mean, we'll find out. Well, we'll eventually get that sucker. Here's the thing. In the movie, it's a very slender sword. 
Yeah. I have a suspicion it's going to be a bit bigger in the if anybody TV show. knows a description of Godric, I would like to know because I mean, if he's the well, I mean, we have some representation dude. of him. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see if he's actually described you mean, like, in, the the, in the books. Yeah, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> I. It's not. She doesn't describe it as a great sword or anything. So I'm not. Expect, I'm not expecting a massive sword. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to get something that's almost, almost small enough that you could call it a fencing thing. They, Do you think they it went would, slender? You I would think see it'd be bigger. Somebody of Harry's size kind of falter a little bit in trying to handle the, the sword that big. Um. I don't think it's going to be heavy. Yeah. Okay. So I think it'll still be a light sword. So maybe have, I'm just thinking oh, okay. they went really thin. On, yeah. On, I think it'll be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think it's going to look more substantial. In a uh, what, what is he here now? Twelve years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it'll look a more <clears throat> substantial there, and then you'll get that egg sized like um, ruby gem, red the gem on the <clears throat> the hilt there, yeah. and then the name being on there. I'll be curious how they shape it. Mm -hmm. I have this idea in my head that it's what round is Noble Collection going to do with themselves? Like they're going to have a lot of stuff to do. They're going to have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Um, but I just Hopefully mean like they can do I think they're going to they be retiring <laughs> some things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You hope what? I said, I hope they can do better than they've been doing. Yeah, it has, it's gone downhill in my hair, in our opinion. Um, uh, it, it's, it's too much reliance it's becoming too on mass um, made. plastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm leaning, side tangent. leaning towards Cinder Replicas for more stuff now. but Yeah, but they need to come out with more things. Yeah, no, maybe I they, agree. Maybe they get on they have, uh, they have their own amount of junk, too. Oh, Don't they do. Yeah, oh, no, they do. Because they sell a lot the of like, shirts calendars. and things and yeah, days, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But they clearly have but shown replicas, that they know how to make... Artisan made good. things, yeah, yes. Yeah. They just don't do um, a lot. Yeah. It's in their name and they don't do a lot. I, know, I think they just don't right? have the rights, maybe. Maybe. But I wonder we'll if there's happens. something holding them back. We don't know who's going to take rights to things uh, from the TV show. Yeah, if it'll be true. both doing true. different versions. It's nothing guaranteed, I guess. Yeah. So. Um, all right. So. Yeah. We're the sword. Move. No, we're still on the sword. The sword will look okay. quite a bit different, I yes. think. And then, yes. Um, go on. In comes, I almost said Draco, uh, Lucius Malfoy, which... I think slams the door open yeah, as yeah. Harry's walking towards it. Yeah. Because she describes it as hard enough that it like hit the wall or <clears throat> something. Yeah. Mm. Um, so he's angry mm -hmm. because he found out Dumbledore's back. Mm -hmm. And this is where we get kind of the same. The same thing about Dumbledore yeah. explaining, which, by the way, I totally forgot that Malfoy is a governor. Yeah. And there's, so there's 12 total? Is that right? Because he said 11 so, yeah, other the, uh, governors. 11 others, yeah. um, and the whole, like, well, oh, you might have like... threatened their families. That was the same, too. Yeah, he's not one anymore. I wonder how long he was previous to this. Um, yeah, what agenda he was pushing. Not clear, right? Because yeah. typically you'd think you wouldn't have that role without having done something. a kid in school, like a reason mm -hmm. to, to be doing it. But yeah. it's possible he... He was, that was his role, <laughs> was to keep an eye over the school for Voldemort. So Right. He may have had this role oh, for Oh, can we backpedal real 12 quick? 12 years. Um, when Ginny was having the conversation with her uh, parents, yeah. she said the way that she got it, which we do know this, the scene did play oh, out this way. How the heck the is a diary just inside a book and you don't notice it? Well, the, the is there a books hole in it? there are thick and they're not like our books. They're, they're like parchment paper and stuff. And I got the impression this diary is quite thin. Oh, so you think the diary might look different, too? Well, I think it could easily have been <clears throat> sandwiched in there the way you would never want to shove something inside of a book. I wonder but, if it looks even more warped because it is described by being so wet from the water. I mean, it'll probably... Well, it's right. also a magical item, so... Yeah. Mm, it's hard to say. But, no, that, that makes sense. And I actually appreciate this a little bit more than the way they do things in the, in the uh, movie. Because in the movie, he just shoves it underneath the book and puts right. it in. Yeah. So I, I like the idea of it like... Being more hidden. He... It feels more like when he picked up stuff, they had jammed two books together and he just happened to pick them up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's um, it's a preference thing, I suppose. We'll see how it plays out in the show. Yeah. Um, but th So we have the governor conversation. Yep. I'm back. Da, 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 da. Um, and then I think this is also when... It doesn't doesn't Harry Harry confronts him in his off in in the office about how Ginny got the diary in front of Dumbledore. I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, and also Dobby <clears throat> is trying. And to Do oh, Dobby's there. Tell yeah, that's the same. Harry. Yeah. How he got? Did it. he do that? Yes. He okay. I thought he did that. So he's like pointing to the diary, <clears throat> but but he punches himself in the head. 
Yeah. In between. It's a punch. I was like, whoa, are we going to see that? That's brutal. I mean, it's consistent with, you know, yes. anytime he betrays his master. Um, so, but and then otherwise, that p contained scene is pretty much the same until it's not they too leave. Different. Until yeah, yeah, yeah. they leave. Come Dobby. Okay. So let's talk about what's different. So we, we uh -huh. know they're in the like hallway um, outside the doorway. Yeah, yeah. And in the film, um, Harry has taken the sock off and he put it in the book. We don't see him do that. And he brings it out and mm -hmm. he gives it to Malfoy, mm -hmm. who then passes it on to mm -hmm. Dobby. Yes. This does not happen this way. No, no, no. He Instead, just puts it on top the book of the is, book. No, the book is in the, in the sock. The book is in the sock. I don't remember that. Let's reflect and see yep. if I remembered that right. And it's a, it's a, it's like references like a filthy sock. Uh, oh yeah, even the kicking Dobby down the hallway is, is yeah, that's the, the same. same too. Yeah. Um, or no, he kicks him like straight out the door. Yeah, down the. Yeah. Kaboom. Same thing though. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, stuff the diary into it. Okay. Because I was trying to pick. I read it twice. I was trying to picture. I'm like. So again, so the diary's not. The diary is stuffed inside a sock. Yeah. Pretty wide sock, if you ask me. But. Well, that's um, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I don't think the diary is very big. I think true. it's. True. Th okay. True. I think we're v visualizing it the, the way, way they put it. it in the movie, yeah. Yeah. which is like a regular sized like book notebook kind of diary. And I'm thinking maybe this is a, a smaller one, you know, that you. Yeah. Keep in your pocket. Oh, like a pocket one. Yeah. 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 So let, let me play out the scene and then we'll talk about which mm -hmm. one we prefer. So it's stuffed inside the sock. He hands the sock to Malfoy. Um, and then Malfoy takes the sock off and tosses it. Tosses it, yeah. Doesn't and, throw it to Dobby necessarily. Right. But it happens to be in his direction. Uh -huh. So Dobby catches it. Uh -huh. On purpose. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. Which do we like more? I, uh, I like that. Do you? Okay. Yes, because it shows a lack of Is that technically giving it to him, though? Yes. Okay. Well, it's one of the reasons they, I forget where they mentioned it, but it was but something about how they If you're getting a book things. inside a sock, wouldn't you maybe question that more than getting a book not knowing there's a sock in it? Like, why did you just put this book in a sock? I think the idea here is that it's like, this is what I think about you. I shoved this diary. In. Like It feels a little over the, t I, I mean. Well, you, you, he, doesn't, is... he doesn't know what's in the sock True. until he okay. pulls it out, right? Then, as but why isn't he out, not just disgusted by it? Like I think that's what he's doing, though. He oh, is disgusted you're right. by okay, the sock. Okay, he okay, okay. It, I'm on board. Not thinking. Yeah. Um, and it, the reason he's not thinking about it in that moment is because he, when he grabs the diary out, <clears throat> yeah, he knows what it is at a certain point, and then he's disgusted and throws the sock. Right. He's not thinking about that because now he's got the diary in his hand again, which he did not want back in his possession. Yeah. Um, Which we did have a conversation previously of like, uh, was Malfoy writing in that diary prior to giving? Was he well, talking yeah, to Tom? That's, that's what, what was he saying? I think, yeah. I think uh, the fact that he had it, there's a pretty good chance he was filling it in on what was going on. Uh -huh. um, because this, again, we've been through this. This version of, of Voldemort, Tom Riddle, isn't going to know anything that's been going on yeah. since he put his memory, memory. in the book. True. Yeah. So, Anything he knows now has to be added from someone else. Yeah. Which would be a really funny way of tricking him by telling him all things that are wrong. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, so uh, let's finish the scene play out. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of on board with that now with the book. And so Dobby gets the sock. Dobby's free. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've lost me, my servant. Yes. Um, But then we get a, a different moment. If I'm recalling because right. Because We get the same line. Improved. What's improv? The Avada Kedavra part is improv. Oh my god, really? Yes. That was a also, Jason Isaacs back thing. up, there was a moment where Lucius, it said, was reaching for his wand when talking to Dumbledore. Like, what spell was he going to well, use there? <clears throat> the thing is, that doesn't make any sense. I think Because that she was from that the there. perspective of Harry, I think, where he, I know. he thought he would be reaching for his wand because that's where a wand would be. He doesn't realize the wand is in his cane, though. Oh, this is true. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. So he he viewed it as that, but I don't think that's What's accurate. What's he reaching for then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't really know. Yeah. So that one's a little. Um, but we do get what was the line that Dobby says right before Although this it, different moment? Is it reference um, to this one? <laughs> like, oh, you shall not harm Harry Potter. Yes. And then boom. Yeah, it pushes. Just bam. I don't know. Remember this? Well, he does. Dobby, this he didn't go billowing down the stairs. 
He he was well there projected were no down the stairs. stairs. But yeah, he was shoved backwards. Yes, there were stairs. Huh? There in was... the scene in the movie? I'm pretty sure he walked down the stairs after he left. He went down. I didn't think he was shoved down No, he was not shoved. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying is different. But I'm saying there were stairs. But he was knocked down. Was he knocked down? Okay. But it, yeah. it's a much more like, whoa, this is how powerful an elf is. Right. And um, I appreciate the improv from Jason Isaacs in this Yeah, scene. no, it's, the, I mean, it shows the colors of, of Lucius, the, really. The fact that he is so annoyed <laughs> now, because not only have you foiled his plan, which is going to leave him in worse standing with Voldemort. Yeah. You have also lost him his servant. Yeah. And you've lost him his well, he's not governorship. Governor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even though that hasn't taken place yet, he knows. Yeah. He's now got all 11 other ones against him. So, yeah. like, all of this has just happened, and he's he's pissed. Yeah. I like what Isaacs did yeah. in that moment of saying, no, I want to, this is what I think he would yeah, do. Please, I, I want a cameo with him. Because that fits <clears throat> so well, and it makes way more sense for, for uh, Dobby to do the right. thing. Yeah. And then at that point, you know... Lucius is like, okay, no. <coughs> I'm regrouping. We've got other plans for you, boy. <laughs> yeah. Sort of like, you know. Yeah. But in here, he doesn't really attempt to kill him. Yeah, right. Like, shrug. <laughs> yeah. Well, he seems more thrown off balance. Yeah, Dobby um, seems to be a little bit overprotective mm -hmm. because nothing really happened. Yeah. It's like, you don't, don't you dare hurt Harry Potter. And it's like, all I did was threaten him with my words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so then that's done. And that feast was going on. Well, we go on. back to the feast. Do you wonder where Dobby went? After this? He snaps away. And True. I'm wondering where he did went Did he snap to. in the book? Huh? Well, they, we they just, just stop hearing about this, him. I thought we just stopped hearing about scene. him. Okay. <laughs> like that, huh. that scene's done. But I'm I just like... Know. He's not going to own anything, yeah, theoretically. True. So it's not like he's going to snap back to Malfoy Manor to pick right. up his things and leave. So I'm just like... Maybe his did, old Elfie friends. Where does he go? <laughs> Reunited. I, I, I'm never quite sure about that. Yeah. But given that we know he ends up kind of working at the school later, yeah. I wonder if he snapped into the office they just left to start his conversation with Dumbledore. Hmm. hmm. Maybe we see a scene of where he goes. So that would be cool. That's the only thing I could think of. Because like, where else is he going? Right. Yeah. True. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't no, really have a home. We we do get to the. Uh, so we go to the feast. Feasty bits. We yeah. get the the scene that we attempted to do in the thumbnail, <laughs> but yes. I probably refused to do the super. But not even, that not <laughs> even Radcliffe remotely does. the same though. Really, it was just no. like, oh, everybody's here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Um. We do get the. Uh, Oh, Lucius is officially sacked. And then we do mm -hmm. get the... Uh, oh, and then um, Lockhart's going away to get his brain sorted out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and there's a discussion. I think He won't be back. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Um, yeah. And, and we get the comes in. reveal... Oh, is we that We get later? the reveal about Percy. Oh. Having a girlfriend. Oh, that's later, though. That's on the train. That's on the train when huh, they're going. I am right down Hagrid coming in. Oh, no, I just wrote Hagrid. You're right. Because yeah, no. Justin apologizes. Well, there's nothing really to Hagrid, um, but exams he does are nearly knock over yeah. Harry and Ron. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it's there's, not... I haven't is, shown any illustrations. It's I've very followed. different. Obviously, <clears throat> the movie wanted to play up Hermione coming back and Hagrid coming back, even yeah. though Hermione would have already been back with the rest of everybody else. Yeah, but she's reunited with the two of them. I know, but she comes in by herself. It's not like it's everybody that was petrified walks in. No, it's oh, Hermione gotcha. opening the doors. Yeah. It's like, well, why is she late? Yeah. Um, sort of thing. Um, and then Hagrid was kind of already here, too. So he, he gets in quicker. Yeah. There's no Ruddy Bird Errol <coughs> situation here. Oh, yeah. Um, because it's all different. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, But we get the Percy... The yes. secret Percy told, well, he didn't tell her she got them kissing. Well, and this is interesting. That, um, Clearwater is his girlfriend. Yes. But the train ride, it's the twins and Ginny with the main three in a in a compartment. We get another twins. scene with the twins <coughs> as part of this main, like, Oh, group. in the book? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're hanging and they're out, really they're playing bonding games, and they're playing shooting games. off fireworks, everything yeah. they can before we, they yeah, aren't allowed to use point. magic. There's a lot of discussion about the Weasley family, and we do pick up on that 
um, and just like the the vibe them as a group together give off and we do like I said we do pick up on the films but it's so much more present in yep. the books and the twins are definitely not going to pick on not, Percy no they no. say with a giant smirk sort of thing and then um, Harry says this is what a phone number is yeah I told, I told I to told your dad how a phone works yeah Just, <laughs> and then sure um, we end with uh, I forget who as it said oh, aren't your aunt and uncle going to be so proud of you? And he's like, no, they're going to be disappointed. I didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> I had so many opportunities to die, when and I did not die. Out, uh, yeah, um, I, I failed. Yeah. No. All righty, you guys, that is a wrap on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as far as the chapters go. So you guys let us know what all of your thoughts and feels were on these chapters or any previous ones. We're going to gather them all together. We've been gathering some from the Discord group, from the chats down below. And then we're going to come at you on the 31st for a premiere um, and do what we did previously, where we're going to talk about the book as a whole. We're going to give our overall feels and we're going to come to all of your comments and comment on them. So that's the plan. Let us know what your thoughts and feels were. What one man missing? I also wanted to throw out there that leave comments for what scene from the book overall is your most anticipated to see Ooh, in the show. Can we do that in every chapter? I, think, I like that because I we are we focusing, like I said, more on that. So yeah, let us know if what scene that has not been depicted in the films um, you're most excited or to even see has in the been. TV show. Yeah, because it's going to be, it done in a everything's going to be done probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let us know what you're Because there's a lot of stuff in here. I know we have it's some not, reluctant people on the yeah. show and I'm hoping by reading these books like uh, again, we can get more excited. Like, yeah. I they're still just feel gonna it. Feel, they're going to feel, feel so it. different from the they're movies. So, they're separate things. Yeah, 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 We get to love all things. We can treat it as a different story because of, it's going to play out so differently. And if we and don't, don't like it, don't we don't like that. it. We yeah, can yeah, just, yeah. okay, I still have this, you know. Yeah. So, all right. So we'll see you on the 31st at our usual time, 8 a.m. Pacific. It will be scheduled. Um, and I'll see you there. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And we'll see you in those comments and in the Discord group and at that premiere. Bye. Bye.